Conference finals time here with the Houston Hammerheads. We are up against the Colorado Avalanche. They finished 6-4-0. and We finished 5-4-1, and but we also had eight more wins on the year. So that is nice. Barzell is doing well, but we actually have quite a few players that are performing in the playoffs so far. Love to see that. And let's see what Colorado has going on for them, shall we? Actually, I would like to once again show our lines first, just to kind of... Give you guys a quick refresher, not that you need it, so I'll just go over it real quick here. There you have it. On defense, same stuff going on here. And in net, we've got Teal and Di Pietro. Okay, time to look at Colorado. Let's view lines now in the league and go to Colorado. The Avs, all right. So yeah, they still have McKinnon, Rantanen, and Landis Cog. So that is a very good first line. Their second line is ridiculous they got reinhardt who we traded to them actually is this the team that put us out last year so i remember we were talking about reinhardt so it might be they've got reinhardt kapanen and yost um and then they have boldy shaw and uh marty marty the one-man party and yeah they have a good team they do have a very good team i gotta give credit where credit's to uh defense they got byram and mccarr so that is deadly but then after that, it kind of just really goes downhill. So defensively, we have them. Offensively, I'd say it's about even, really. But I still think we have the better team. And they got UC what I see in net. So yeah, 83 overall. I don't know. I feel like we should have this. But you just never know until you actually get into it. So let's get into it here. Colorado Avalanche, Houston Hammerheads, the conference finals, year seven. Please, Houston. I want to win a cup before the series is over. First period. Nice start. Barzell again. Power play goal. Let's be getting a lot of those. Okay. We have a 2-0 lead. Newhook showing his face again against his former team here. And that will now... Never mind. I was going to say we won't have... Well, I was going to say we have a two-goal lead. But now we have a three-goal lead, which is even better. So, yeah. That was just me tripping on my own words because Kavanov basically threw my brain through my brain is that even i can't even like my brain just can't process right now what's going on that whole situation just put my brain through a loop and now i'm trying to like recover you know disaster recovery right here so i'm working on it three stars teal yeah there you go a shutout not bad eh barzell with a goal and kavanov with a goal will be your second and third star nice that's a good way to start the series a nice shutout don't mind if i do game number two we are still in Houston. First period. Oh, okay. Landis Gog and McKinnon both going to score. And they only have nine shots. Yikes. Second. 2-1. All right, we brought it back. Boss. Elliot Moose is on the loose. He's back. All right. Oh, power play goal to start the third. That's not what we're looking for. That makes it 3-1 in favor of Colorado. Okay, it looks like we might have a best of five on our hands here as McKinnon puts home another one. To make it a three goal differential. And the Hammerheads just seem lifeless out there. Not even getting shots or anything. Alright, there we have it. Okay, a 4-1 victory for Colorado in game number two. Makes it a best of five. Landis Gog getting four points. Mack with three. And uh, Saros, stellar performance from him as well. Okay, new hook back on top in terms of points. Well, let's sim up to our first game in Colorado here. Let's see if we can... At least steal one from them on the road. Here we go. First period. Oh, my word. Boldy, Marty the one-man party, and Landis Gog all going to score. Two power play goals, nonetheless. All right. Well, we need a big second, and we don't get one. We just don't get it. All right. Four nothing. Heading into the third period. I might have to move Boss back up. I might have to do it. Switch things up again. You know? Just uh, make some changes. Get the boys sparked. And see where that takes us. Yost is going to score. I'm debating on starting DiPietro. I'm going to be real. <laughs> well, you know what? We can't really blame Teal here. There we go. Robert Thomas. We're going to get a depth goal. Yeah, I'm going to make a move. So we are now down 2-1 to one in the series. Saros once again having an amazing performance. Kapanen has 1-2. and two, And Yost has 1-1. One and one, Who I'm pretty sure that Yost has been traded very recently. I think at the deadline he got traded. So, yeah. Don't believe he's on this team anymore. But regardless, I'm going to edit our lines. Yep, I'm doing it. Boss, you're coming back up. And there you go. 
But that is a plus two. No, I'm not going to do it. I don't care. I do not care. What if I do this, though? They both shoot right. That's the only problem. But so does Raymond. Hmm. Or do I risk it? Put no chemistry and have Raymond here on the second line? And then... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to try it. Can't hurt at this point. What about these guys? Okay, I'm going to move Bouchard back up then, because that's still a 2 and one Sergachev, no, we can't really get anything going there. What if I do this? Ah, uh, no, okay. We'll leave Bouchard there. Yeah, all right. And then I am going to run with Teal still. Don't want to do anything too dramatic, because it is only 2-1, you know? Like, it's not like we're on the edge of elimination just yet, but we're pretty darn close. So this game is massive. If we go down 3-1, that is terrifying. So let's try not to do that. First period. Oh my goodness. McKinnon and McCarr. Second period. Oh, okay. We pulled it back. Boss got one. Bouchard got one. And so did Thomas. Two of those goals were power play goals. So we're down by one heading into the third here. We need a massive third period. We really do. Because if we lose this... RC... Oh my word. O'Connor's gonna score. Yes, Sabinejad! Come on! Gets it right back. If we lose this, boys, it is not looking good. Once again, the Hammerheads might be Dunyans in the conference finals this time around. But... Oh, Zabinijad! Again! He ties it up! You absolute mad lad. That was huge. I pretty much already accepted that we lost. And now we are headed to OT. Come on, guys. We need a big goal here. We really need one. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! Who took the power play... Or the penalty? Who... Did it! Barzell! Delay of game? Really? Man. Alright. Well, it's 3-1. Here's the three stars. Yeah. Four assists for Miro. Look at him go. Okay. Well, this could be it. This could be it. We are in a tricky spot here. We gotta win three games in a row to stay alive. Carolina, Toronto tied over there at 2-2. And we just can't seem to have the same fate. First period. All right, at least it's tied this time. Second. We're tied heading into three. Here we go. Come on, we don't have many shots either. Another power play for Colorado. Luckily, we were able to kill that one off. Power play for the Hammerheads. And a long power play at that. Still not able to score. Another power play. Don't you dare. Dude, I swear on my life if Reinhardt puts us out. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm never playing franchise mode again in my entire life. Why did it have to be Reinhardt? Why? Someone tell me immediately. Well, here's your three stars. Another disappointing exit for the Houston Hammerheads. Conference finals. Man, I cannot believe it. I don't even care. The draft this year is basically useless to us. I don't really care about it at all. So... Oh, man, I'm going to sim to the draft. I'm probably going to trade away our first round pick. Maybe, I don't know. No, I don't want to move on from Barzal, though. I don't think he's the problem. I really don't. You know what? Can I edit the lines again quick? No, I can't. I wanted to check scheme fit for some of the players and see who wasn't really fitting into the squad. But I don't know if we can actually do that. Well, let's sim to the draft. Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. Ottawa moved from 11 to 1. All right. That is insane. Okay. And sure, we can view the retired players. Why not? Patrick Kane, uh, 1768. And then we've got uh, Backstrom with 1454. And a few other pretty notable players here. Let's check out the goaltenders. We've got Bobrovsky, Quick, Ranta, Riddick, DeSmith, Gibson, and um, Christers. That's what I'm, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, well, there you have it. The retirements. Another playoff exit for the Houston Hammerheads here. I would be lying if I said that wasn't insanely demoralizing. Oh, well, let's check out the scouts. Just make sure that no contracts are expiring. It looks like we might be good. Can I just extend you right now? 
No, I can't. Uh, coaches. We're still good there. Okay. Well, we're fine for the coaching staff and everything for now. Oh, should I just start the draft and just get it over with? I have, like, no scouting done. I'm just going to wing it, I think. 